But, but again, you know, um, just because you get an order to show cause does not mean you're going to win. But there is a process, and we're going to use that process. And, and I implore all of you to, to consider these, these processes when, in fact, you think that you're being bullied, being outgunned, or just have some judge that, for whatever reason, isn't following the law. And, and, and most of us do not do that. I want to make that very clear to you. Most of us regularly do not do that. And so if there's anything that you take away today as trial lawyers or as appellate lawyers, because these appeals are available, because there are these processes available within our society, when you don't do it, you embolden and you basically, just like an addict or someone else, uh, are the person that enables that party to continue to do what they're doing. And it is our job not to be that enabler. And we are that enabler by not fulfilling our obligations and duties, even though we are the David in the Goliath. And if any of you have not read David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell, I suggest you read it. Because most of us in our lives are David. And you have to then accept that mantle and, and understand that you have a responsibility and duty as that, David, to, to correct uh, the types of bullying that's going on in, in our society on a regular basis. And, and this points something out again. This is a great takeaway. One of the few practice areas where you actually control the outcome is, is sometimes family law. Because while parties are acting good or acting bad, that becomes relevant during the entire adjudication of, of a divorce. It's kind of the same thing in the appellate practice area, that while you're in trial, while you're litigating, you are actually, to some extent, going to determine the outcome of the case by your procedural stance and by these kinds of tactical moves. And that will determine the likelihood of, of, of being able to appeal and preserving the appeal and ultimately even the success of the appeal. And so. That, that's what's so fascinating about, about what, what we're all doing here. And um, I applaud, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm thrilled that, that, that all of you came today because I, I think this is just a, a wonderful area of, of law and, and so many people just consider it a black box that they don't want to really know much about. But you can't be in trial, you can't be a trialer if you are not properly addressing all these issues uh, at, at, at the time. I, I want to thank the bar for inviting me, me today. This has been really most enjoyable, and, and I truly appreciate uh, uh, you all having, having me here as your guest. Thank you very much. And Roy, thank you. Really appreciate it.